Scott Walker tonight talking about jobs, and as he did, he touted his record as governor of Wisconsin. I think most of us in America understand that people, not the government, creates jobs. And one of the best things we can do is get the government out of the way, repeal Obamacare, put in rein, uh, rein in all the out of control regulations, put in place an all of the above energy policy, get people the education and skills that they need to succeed, and lower the tax rate and reform the tax code. That's what I'll do as president, just like I did in Wisconsin. And he did it in 21 seconds. Joining us now to uh, evaluate the candidate's body language uh, in the debates, Janine Driver, president of the Body Language Institute. Janine, great to have you with us. Uh, is there, she's also the author of You Can't Lie to Me. Uh, yeah. And I would, I would like to get your sense as to, is there one candidate who made an egregious mistake in the way he or she held their body or their head or focused their attention? You know, I think the biggest mistake I saw with a couple of the candidates tonight were shoulder shrugs. A shoulder shrug is uncertainty, and that's going to kill your message. I mean, even if you're uncertain about your answer, the last thing you want to do is have an expert like me saying this person's uncertain. You know, we want certainty in this country. It's the uncertainty, especially the Republicans are saying there's too much uncertainty. So the am last I, thing you want to do is shoulder shrug. Am so I we mistaken? Saw shrugs with, I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, we saw the shoulder shrugs with Scott Walker. We saw shoulder shrugs. I got to say, Mike Huckabee was really strong. Donald Trump was strong. Um, we saw a lot of shoulder shrugs with Ron Paul out there tonight. And, I, and, and Bush, I felt, really laid, laid flat today. He played out flat. He disappeared off the screen. His body language, there was very little. There was just not a lot of oomph with him. We saw the oomph with Mike Huckabee. We saw it with Trump. We saw it with Mark Rubio. Literally, what we see with these guys is this increase in pressure. And that's determining. This, when we see this oomph, like when someone's making a point and they You're have that thump at the end. You're making me want to sit up a little here tonight. <laughs> well, well, that thump is connected to determining. It means these are the people that can increase pressure, pressure or resist pressure. And so yeah. sometimes that determining is what's pulling us in, right? Uh, ex uh, that makes all the sense in the world. Uh, it, it, Donald Trump, obviously you think he did very well, was very strong. I, I got kind of a kick out of him a couple of times tonight because he kind of did a, a, a shrug. He was kind of opening his hands wide, and he was almost like saying, uh, please, you know, give me a break here. And I yeah, love well, the way he, say, he talks. He puts his hand out like this. He's got a finger like this. I've never seen that gesture. I don't know what it means. What does it mean? <laughs> Well, listen, you know, Donald Trump has no problem chopping. He was uh, like the chopper. Usually we see with the politicians this thumb of power. Uh, um, Bill Clinton did this. America, I want you to listen and listen good. That's right? very good, That's Janine. the combination. Thank you. That's the combination of pointing and chopping because they, this yeah. is the less aggressive this. But Donald Trump has no problem doing this, no problem chump, chopping. Donald mm -hmm. Trump did this like, wait a minute pose. This is what cops do when they come in and like, on the ground, ATF, FBI. Here's what Donald Trump is a pro at. And again, he was a pro here. His yeah. timing. He is able to adjust in the moment-to-moment -moment timing of action, Lou, where he can, in that moment, he, his evaluating kicks in. Evaluating is this right here. We're leaning forward. We're lean, I mean, we're leaning to our side. We're leaning to one side, rising and seeing me. We see that. Why? His Donald Trump activates this evaluating and timing. This is why he doesn't have to sit down and memorize a bunch of answers. And he said, I'm coming and I'm just being me. We see that. Why? His evaluating, which is weighing pros and cons, making sense of something, creating a right. System happens for him in a moment to moment timing of action. We see this with Donald Trump's quick gestures. He'll have the speed to his gestures. Mm -hmm. And so that's him living in the moment. But the interesting thing on Trump is you'll see him too. He'll lean forward or lean back. And that's connected with the future. This is anticipating. You know, we have a future here. Now, Donald Trump, you know, when he was asked, it was interesting, when he was asked about is he pro life, is he pro choice, um, it's the one time I felt Donald Trump actually became a little weak. And it's something we don't see often with him. He held the microphone here. What is his belief? And this indicated to me an increase in anxiety. Now, I don't right. know what the catalyst is, Lou, yeah. but it was the one time when Donald Trump changed his behavior for sure mm -hmm. that he was kind of rattled his cage. But, you know, think about it. When he was asked about his companies going bankrupt, we see Donald Trump, Trump's chin going up. Yeah, he, the people who don't like go. The people who don't like Obama, they don't like, they say he's arrogant. Well, it's this move. So Donald Trump was loving that question. He was prepared for that question. His chin went up. It's as if he looked down his nose at us. Uh, absolutely. Janine, thank you for that uh, terrific analysis. One quick question. We've got about 10 yeah. seconds. We're actually a little over. Uh, that little exchange, little, that was a big exchange between Governor Christie uh, and Senator Paul, in which, I mean, they went at it. Uh, 
Yeah. Any thoughts on that? Did they did that serve them well, at least in terms of body language and what they were expressing to the audience? Listen, Chris Christie is going to be seen as more likable here. So Chris Christie, um, even though he could be a pit bull, right? But he has this lean. He leans to his right a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so this is evaluating. You can see, look at him. See, look, at he's leaning right now to the right, right? We see this lean. Right. We see the lean to the left. This is evaluating right then and there. It's, it's creating a system. It's what's important. What are the priorities here? Okay. And so Chris Christie is very interesting. He, he has no trouble saying here are the priorities. So he comes across as more likable. Janine, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, terrific analysis. Thanks a lot. <laughs>